One good piece of advice that I could give you um, as performing arts majors is to simply be yourself. Um, I know that sounds kind of simple, but it's really important to find out what you do best, what really makes you tick, what uh, is unique about you, because that uniqueness will really carry you far. Of course, it's important to you know, have really good technique, and if you're a singer, study your languages, etc. cetera. But um, what really separates a good performer from a great performer is that uniqueness, that one-of-a-kindness that only you have. So that's really what I think that I've discovered over my years as, as a, uh, in my career that really I strive for and uh, hopefully sets me apart from others. A couple things that I use day to day, every day of my career. Um, the first thing is work ethic. I mean, I was really encouraged to work very hard when I was here from the very beginning, from the very first semester. Um, and I use that, 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 that work ethic every day today because it, it's, to have a performing career is difficult and you really need to have that drive and that, that energy and that work ethic to get you through and to progress in your career. Um, and another thing that I think is probably the most important thing that you can do in the business when you are a professional performer is being a good colleague. Um, you know, because what we do is really a team effort most of the time. Whether you're doing a recital with a pianist or in an opera production, you're, you're part of a team. The most important thing to take outside of your core courses and the required courses, um, the most important thing to take um, is a language. Actually, multiple languages. Um, because chances are you will be working in Europe uh, if you are a performing uh, artist. And being able to speak the language of the country where you're performing in is so, so important. Um, and if you're a singer, obviously you need to take languages to, to sing um, specific uh, roles in operas, and you need to do that well and know what you're talking about. But even as a violinist or a cellist or a pianist who performs in Europe, it's really good to know other languages um, to just get through you know day-to-day -day, um, activities in Europe because you chances are you will be performing there given that there are so many opportunities there.